Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. I truly appreciate you all. May Almighty God bless you all. So here is Prophet Omogene. According to him, he spent some years in Synagogue Church of All Nations before he opened his own church. So in this video, he really went deep to tell us what really happened in the Synagogue Church of All Nations when he was there. Like you guys really need to listen to this video. It's a must watch. And please don't forget to share the video as well. And he talked about this uh, BBC documentary. Like what he said will shock you. Let me allow you guys to watch the video and I will be right back. There's this... A rumor that is going on against Prophet T.B. Joshua everywhere. They say, oh, Prophet T.B. Joshua is this. Prophet T.B. Joshua did that. Prophet T.B. Joshua did this. It's not strange. These are antichrist powers. We, we, it's not a new thing. It's not new. If you have known Prophet T.B. Joshua, he, God gave him a, a very turbulent ministry. That is his cross. God gave him a turbulent ministry. You know what they call turbulence? Troubles. That was what God gave him. A turbulent ministry. I have known Prophet T.B. Joshua for, for, from 96 when he just started this Emmanuel TV on the uh, free to air, but I've not been there, and I was raised in Christ Embassy. So when I met my wife and we got married and we went to Lagos, uh, we were having troubles, and my mother-in-law called us up that we should go to Synagogue Church of All Nations. I knew him, but I only believe in my pastor Chris. Then one Sunday we went. My wife could attest to it that Sunday that I was so angry. If she said one thing, I would shout. I, I didn't know why I was angry. One, because I'm leaving Christ's embassy to another church. I've not done it before. And in that church, we were there from morning to like one. Before the man of God came, I was even more angry. They are wasting my time. But when the man of God came, as he was talking... Naturally, I've been this spirit-inclined person right from time. I pray a lot. If I see you right from time, I will know if you are God or you are fake, I must know. Right? My name is Omogene. I didn't give myself Omogene. So, I, like I was saying, that day when the man of God was talking, I was, I was shocked. I said, Jesus, such power... This man has power. He was not doing miracles. He was just preaching the way I'm talking. You could feel the power, the anointing. In short, when he started prayers, I vomited and vomited. I ran to the toilet. I was in the toilet like one hour. Before I came back from the toilet, he has gone. The following service, I was the one that was dragging my wife. Wake up, 4 a.m. Wake up. We must go to church. I didn't remember Christ's embassy. That is how I left Christ's embassy. At once. I didn't look back. Huh? There's a man of God like this. I told you, God gave him a turbulent ministry. I was in the church. This is 2011. I was in the church. That same 2011. He will say, everybody... I, like last Sunday now, I lay hand on everybody, right? I learned it from Prophet T.B. Joshua. He will say, Prophet T.B. Joshua does not collect money to pray for you. Just come with your medical reports. They will pray for you. Prophet T.B. Joshua does not feign. He's not an entertainer. He does not entertain people. He solves problems. Prophet T.B. Joshua does not see vision to impress people. All his vision are directed to solve problems. He does not ask for money. He will prophesy for you, deliver you, give you money. You will not understand. Let me tell you how the four prophets, T.B. Joshua, one day we were in the church, he was laying hands on everybody. He will stand, that man was a workaholic. You know what they call workaholic? He will stand like this. After the service, he will say, 
Before you go home, pass, I will touch you. So we'll be touching everybody. He can touch us like that from 4 to 11. From 4 p.m. T11, he will still stand, be touching everybody. He was a workaholic. One of these touching services, one day, they sent a man to him. And suddenly, as the man got close to him, he brought out the dagger. Wanted to stab him. I was in the church. I didn't watch it outside. I was in the church. I used to go to the I had pictures that I was in the church with my wife, with my child. My eldest daughter, she has grown up now. Then she was the only child we had. She was small. We would go to the church. It's our church. We were always there. Always. You can see this picture. Eh? Then, this time, I have not had a child. We just married. You can see my wife and see myself. We just married. You believe it? Huh? Huh? You see this picture? This time, we've gotten the child now. This is synagogue church you are seeing. Are you seeing the back? This is the generator part of the church, if you are used to that church. The building that collapsed was just by your right side of the church. We were, even that building that collapsed, we were always in it. I have friends everywhere in it. Some died. The building that collapsed was built in my presence. I saw the companies that were company, not bricklayers. Lafage, a, Fr a French company built that building with equipment, state-of-the-art equipment that they blew up. Boko Haram blew it up. You know, you don't know some of these stories. One other day, the man of God was praying for us in church. That was 2011 stroke 12. As he was touching us like this, it was in the night now. A man got up close to him and brought out a pistol to shoot him. You must have heard or seen it. And the man of God said, give me the gun. And the arm robber gave him the gun. He took the gun. He was not shaking the gun like this. I don't know if you heard it or you've seen it. <laughs> so I miss you. <laughs> Jesus. It's online. Check it. Prophet T.B. Joshua collected the gun. Do you all go to Google? You will see it. You must see the video. He collected the gun from the robber that they sent to kill him in his own church. I was in the service. I want to tell you persecution the man went through. There were times they said he does not have a wife. He does not have children. He's not a human being. Maybe the, may, may why the man was so smart. He hid his family from the world. Nobody knew he had wife and children. When they were not spreading it, spreading it. Little did they know that the girl that was holding microphone for him was one of his daughters. He had four daughters. Three biological daughters. One adopted daughter adopted daughter. That, the young girl he adopted was dumped in front of his church and he took the child and raised up the child with his children. We all knew Prophet T.B. Joshua had four girls. Three are his biological children. One is his foster child that he adopted. The foster child is among these people that are scandalizing him now. You believe? It, it shocked you? The foster child that he raised up, that girl traveled all over this world. He goes holidays. She went holidays everywhere all over the world with Prophet T.B. Joshua's children because they were rich. And they ran an international church. Do you know what they call the Synagogue Church of All Nations? A church that you will have like 1,000 white people every Sunday. I didn't say 100, 1,000 white people all over the world eh, up to china to japan to north korea to south korea to canada to us to mexico to argentina we forget europe they will all come every sunday service there was no international church in africa or that africa has seen like the squan you see white people different kind of white people white people black people different type all over the world they come you will see them. It's my church. I was there for three years. You cannot tell me about it. I was also in the church when a Boko Haram personnel came with explosive to blow up the church, 2014. To blow up the church. And they now went to a saloon opposite the church. I was in the church. I didn't wash it. I was in the church with my wife. 
They now went to a saloon opposite the church, and the saloon man was playing the service live. It was a, a Sunday service also, but it was in the evening. God times the service will run till 10 in the night. Huh? And this is the man. This is the man. Have you watched this clip? Go and look for it. There were three that came. As they were in the saloon, they had the explosives. They were sent by Boko Haram. And this one, as he was watching the TV, something spoke to him. And he said, see, I cannot do this thing anymore. He crossed straight to the church. On getting to the church, the Holy Spirit picked him and he started manifesting. This is the video. You can Google it and watch it for yourself. There were a lot of Boko Haram personnel that came with explosives that tried to blow up the church. They could not. Before the later now came on a high profile level that they planted bombs on that building and the aeroplane moved around, moved around, moved around, detonated the bombs and the building exploded. So many people died. We felt bad. The day that building exploded, that was the day I was with my wife coming to Delta State to do this ministry. We were on the road when we heard it. If not, I have always been around that building. So many people that was, were my friends, but there was one Urubu woman then that was my very good friend that was always in that building. She died. There were a lot of them. So many persons died. See, what is happening now is a murder of character, an assassination of the character of a righteous man. It's an organized crime, an orchestrated crime against Jesus and his church. And the church are smiling. Is it prophetic that they are really fighting? No. It's you and I. They are trying to kill our faith. And without faith, you cannot please God. As you are here, if you don't believe, you cannot receive. And such stories will kill your faith. You say, ah, prophet, if you can do this. What are, the people that are saying it, are these not his disciples? These people worked with him. Do you know how many people worked with him? This church, I have 82 staff. 82. As smart as the church is. 82. That are on payroll. 82. Then if we talk about church workers, we're over 600. The ones on payroll are 82. This church. If you don't know, let me tell you. Prophet T.P. Joshua had five wise men that was living with him. He also had 400 disciples. 400. Four. Four what? I didn't say 40. 400. I didn't say 400 workers. 400 disciples. It means that he had 400 evangelists. 400 people that are praying. If you add a five to it, it's 405. Now, out of those 400 disciples, some might likely be failing. Is it not in this church, one of my pastors was arrested last year for sleeping with women in the church? Huh? You didn't hear it in church. Some could fail, and they must be corrected. Now, when the man died, the first attack was on the wife. They threw the wife out. You heard the story two, three years ago. The same apostles or uh, uh, disciples, they ganged up and threw the wife out. The woman cried out. God did it. Both the help of the government, president. You know, the church is a church of all nations. Everybody in the world came and they reinstated the wife back legally through court. Now as the wife came back, all of them that ganged up to throw her out, what happened? They all left. Some were threw out. Those people that left, they thought the church must fail. After waiting, because the wife does not do the work. She does not pray for people. She hardly holds microphone. It was after they said, uh, he does not have a wife, he's not a human being, does not have children, that he brought out his wife and his children. The wife, once in a while, she will preach. Like in this church, my wife most times does not preach. You hardly see her. If you don't even know, you will not know. If not, that we now have this almighty shares of recent. <laughs> you will not know 
who my wife is. The way I designed the church, I, I didn't design it like this. I designed the church that my wife would be sitting with people. Because I learned from Prophet T.B. Joshua. But somehow someone organized this almighty shares and you are seeing it like that. So when the wife set up the ministry, they thought she would fail. The church would fail. In short, they were seeing it everywhere. That, ah, synagogue has crumbled. This, this, that. But God is not a man. Tell somebody, God is not a man. God started using the woman even more. Even more. She traveled all over the world for crusade. International crusade. And there were a lot of miracles. Now, these disgruntled dis disciples that were angry, two, three. Okay, what do you expect them to even say that people will accept? They say, T.B. Joshua is heartless. That is not, deep. it's not heavy enough. They say, T.B. Joshua is a thief. That is not heavy enough. What do we say that will make you angry? T.B. Joshua raped us. Yes. You will react. Ah, is it true? True of us. These people were bought. Be smart. What is happening is a, is a BBC is an antichrist station. And besides, the people that are behind these things are homosexuals, gay, lesbian. The person that orchestrated this thing, one of the major actresses, a lesbian, a gay. She even said it, that I'm a lesbian, I'm a gay. My mother died, I was 11 years. You didn't watch it, and I became lesbian. My parents were Christian, yet my mother still died. That if somebody is a Christian, the person might not die. Is there any yastic like that? There's nothing like that. Somebody could, Prophet Christy B. Joshua said, a man could be sick, yet he's a friend of God. Somebody could die and go to heaven straight. Huh? It does not mean because you are a Christian, you were pregnant, you now lost the pregnancy. Then it means uh, God is not with you. No. Why we were in synagogue? My wife lost her first pregnancy. That does not shake my faith. I still believe in the church. We were still going to the church. She conceived again and gave birth to that child you are seeing us with in the church. There are some disgruntled elements. Antichrist forces has gone to BBC to try to kill our faith. Please be careful. Don't accept those things. Don't let it enter your ears. Guard your heart with all diligence. Guard it. Protect it. Let me tell you what the Lord told me before I came. He said, your way is open. Your way. Very, very open. What you must just do is guard your heart. Guard your heart. If you see devil, maybe you, you wake up in the morning, you remember that you ate in the dream. You fast, you pray. Just be watchful. Be watchful. Be vigilant. Because the devil as a roaring lion is looking for someone to... So guys, I hope you had everything Prophet Omogene said in this video. He really went deep, honestly. He really tell us like, a lot of things that happened in the synagogue church, as well as... Uh, persecution that uh, T.B. Joshua went through. And there's something he said here that I have heard like from uh, disciples that they say that Ajoke is adopted daughter to T.B. Joshua, not his biological daughter. And he said that it was uh, Boko Haram that was behind the building that collapsed in Synagogue Church of All Nations. Like he really went deep, honestly. Things that I didn't know that happened in Synagogue Church, I think we all got something from this video. And why I'm bringing all this video is for us to strengthen our faith. Because we know, like, we know that there's fake prophets, fake pastors all over the world. But it will not be because of that. You will not lose hope. You will not lose faith in Christianity. So I'm bringing this video to strengthen our faith. Just as he said that uh, this is end time, that we should be careful. Yes, we should be careful. Not just because of what is happening now. The where you are going to church, the who you call your pastor, 
like you need to be careful you need to be spiritual grounded so that when you see those fake pastors you yourself you realize it so that you will not allow anybody to deceive you so that is my take in this video so i would love you guys to leave your thoughts in the comment section what do you think what prophet omogene said in this video i would love you guys to share the video as well so that people can get the opportunity to watch okay like the video so that youtube can recommend it to other people to watch thanks so much everyone for watching i'm going to see you guys in my next update bye bye for now